chef uh, Rene Rodriguez, and I'm the uh, chef at uh, Orto Trattoria in Italy. And um, I've been here for about six weeks. Before that, I was the chef and owner of uh, a Spanish restaurant called Navarra in the market. And I've been cooking in Arawa for 21 years. Yeah. When I was 18, um, I, could, I couldn't speak a word of English you know, when I came to Canada and um, all I could do was be a dishwasher. So I did that for a full year. I saved enough money to go to cooking school and to learn English at the same time. And I decided to take cooking serious in a sense where, you know, this is how much I love food, I'm going to devote a lot of time. And there would be times where I buy a cookbook once a week and read the entire cookbook once a week. Ottawa has played an important role in my career as a chef uh, because I always had that support of the people that want to eat the food that I create and they always uh, respond really really well when it comes to the uh, food that I make for them. So Navarra, um, I had it for nine years, uh, it was a Spanish uh, restaurant tapas and um, I love Spanish cuisine because it, it um, I can connect to that food because I was you know, I, I was raised in Mexico. I think I decided to leave my restaurant simply because it was time to let go. I already achieved many things with Navarra and it was time for me to open a new chapter when it came to food. Um, and I always, I love the idea of being a chef, but I never wanted to be an owner at the same time because it's very, very dramatic and very stressful. And it, it took me away from cooking. Um, having my own restaurant definitely helped uh, for me to submit my application for Top Chef Canada because um, I was able to, to send my application and they realized that I had my own restaurant for five years at that, at that time and they also uh, realized that I was cooking really great food and Navarra became an extension of who I was as a chef and it was a reflection of, of, of my passion. So when I had the opportunity to, to do Top Chef, I said, I'm gonna do this for me, and I'm gonna do it for my family, but I also wanna do it for the city, simply because Ottawa deserves to be in that map when it comes to food, right? And after winning the competition, I think people across the country realized that there's some good talent in this city. And now all of a sudden, Ottawa became that city in a sense where, you know, a local chef won Top Chef Canada, and there's, there's gotta be more chefs like him. So let's, let's put Ottawa in the map a little bit more. And I'm working with uh, young chefs that are very passionate and individuals that love food. And for me, that's great because I can see that passion and I can relate to that. And, and it becomes very easy you know, when you work with passionate individuals. My right hand man in the kitchen at Orto is Ras, Rasmon, and he's been working with me for six years. He was my sous chef at, uh, at Navarra for five years. And I know him for about seven years. And he's incredibly talented, very passionate, and he's a it's like a sponge. He absorbs a lot of you know information, and then he develops it. And then he he he's a very uh, technical individual when it comes to food. You know, he knows how to assemble food, and he understands food really well, which I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I started working with Renee about seven years ago, six years ago. Um, I worked at Oz Cafe previously, and. Uh, I had a great opportunity to, to push and, and learn a little bit. Um, you know, Rene is, is, is one of the, the greater chefs, so I, you know, I hopped out on chance. Basically, I, I, I was uh, a painter and artist, and I kind of started relating that to food a little bit, plating and, you know, colors and vibrancy, so. I'd like to think that Rene and I push each other to, to grow together. I think you have to be able to to give it back to the community and um, and help other chefs uh, develop uh, their technique and their uh, their career, um, I think it's important that you awaken their senses when it comes to food and see what do they love to eat and how do they like to cook, and you can use that as a as a tool to help them bring the best of them as as, as chefs, right? So I'm always going to be involved with helping other people to cook because. I had my chance and I took advantage of that and I, and I was able to, to become a, a chef. Now I think there's people out there that want to do what I did and I got to help them and um, you know, inspire them actually. Yeah.